Father Jonathan Meyer and welcome to Alive. This is the 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time and we are in Luke chapter 12, 49 through 53. Question for you. Um, how many of your family members have you had tension in your relationship with them because of the faith? How many family members have you gotten in an argument with? How many family members do you have that don't talk to you anymore because of your belief? You see, our belief in Jesus ultimately enters into how we live, how we practice, and what we believe. You can't just believe in Jesus and not have that begin to affect what you believe about other people. You can't believe in Jesus and not have that affect how you ultimately believe what you believe about marriage, what you believe about children, what you believe about raising children. When I think about my life, I think about all of the issues that we have in our world and the fact that Jesus really does have an answer to all of these many, many situations that we have going on in our world right now. Some of you it might have been like the early debates on contraception. Should contraception be allowed? The Catholic Church has continued to remain that contraception is not a viable option for spacing children. Some of you remember the first decision on Roe back in 1973. And then our culture shifted to that debate on a pretty emotional basis. We then began talking about marriage and divorce on a very regular basis. And divorce and remarriage brought a whole nother spectrum of frustration, discord and disunity into families. Then the topic of homosexuality. And then the topic of gay marriage. Then the topic of transgender. Then the topic of transgendering children under the age of five and six became a national topic. The reality is, is that Jesus, his church, and the faith that he's entrusted to us has answers to these things. And our answers are very different than the modern culture and the world. And my brothers and sisters, it can be hard. That's why Jesus gives us assurance in our gospel passage today that he didn't, bring to come, he didn't come to bring peace. Although he is the Prince of Peace, although he is the Lamb of God, although he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, when we choose to believe in him, we choose to follow him, it will often bring division. This is why the earliest church is clothed and covered in the blood of martyrs. Because what the world believes is very different than what God believes. And we are not called to be one with the world. We're called to be one with him and his Eucharistic and his sacred heart, which means we often stand quite opposite in contrast and in division with the world and her ways. So my brothers and sisters, you're not alone. God is with you. And if we're going to rebuild a society, a culture of life, it is going to be by you and I being able to stand in the midst of division, in the midst of frustration, and to remain with Jesus, who is the truth, and to be able to do so with joy, with hope, and with peace. So if you get in an argument, if there is division, be the person in that argument, be that person in the division, that is a person of peace, a person of joy, a person of love, a person of compassion. When there is division, when there is discord, when there is disunity, don't be the individual who yells and who screams and is mean and is nasty. That's not of God. We have to stand with the truth, but we do so with joy, with hope, with resilience, and with the Lord. Tough topic, but it's true. And that's why Jesus said what he did today. He said to give you encouragement, to know that it's okay, and to know that he's with you. 
Thanks for joining us for our live. There are discussion questions down below and you are more than welcome to go through those by yourself with another person and to delve deeper into God's word. Join us next week for a live. Share this video with your friends and join us always at allsaintscatholic.net for the great things happening here at our parish in Dearborn County. God bless you.